Yeah. Uh, hi, Coach. Uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, uh, my question to you is, uh, there were a lot of positives from the game, of course. Uh, what would you say were uh, some weaknesses which uh, the team needs to address, according to you? <laughs> Yeah, it was a it was a nice start for us. I've said this after the game, but that's that's all it was. You know, it's the first game together. Uh, we had six players making their debut for the for the club, and of course we had some change in the coaching staff department. So to get off to the start that we did was very pleasing. Um, there's a lot of work that we still need to do, uh, and we've been addressing that over the last couple of days. I'll keep that to myself for the time being until after the game, um, but I'm happy to to share that with you afterwards. Hopefully. Thank you. Thanks, Ash. Was this a question from somebody who can be? How, how much better do you, dis, do you think this team can get from you? I think every team, um, not just our team, I think every team that plays and the longer the season goes on, I think we've seen this, I certainly see this in this league last year, was for every game that got, um, the more advanced the rounds got, the quicker the games got, the more the players got used to playing at the speeds. And, you know, with a very short pre-season, uh, the longer the season does go on, I think the games will get quicker and players will get more uh, refined to play in the way that they want. Um, so I think the, the league, not just us, I'd like to think we will continue to get better, but I think so will every other team in the league. Thanks, Coach. <coughs> we have Rohan from the bridge. Hi, Coach. Hi. There was a, it was a great game against FC Doha, but there were a couple of injuries, I guess, to Rainier and Vidnesh. So can you tell us how are they there and are they fit for the next game or not? Yeah, so uh, uh, Rainier is, is okay. Um, Vignesh, unfortunately, is we've sent for a scan and uh, Vignesh will be out for around four to five weeks uh, with a, an ankle um, issue, obviously from the tackle the other night where he had to come off. So Vignesh won't be available for not just tomorrow, but for the, for the foreseeable games coming up. Um, but Rainier and every, every other player has pulled up well and is available for full selection. Got a question from Anand. His mic's not working. He wants to ask you about your evaluation of Hyderabad's 1-0 loss to Chennai. And where do you feel Mumbai, Mumbai's match against Hyderabad will be won? Yeah, we watched their game back here. Uh, I, was, I was very surprised that the, the scoreline at halftime was, was what it was at 0-0. Uh, I thought Hyderabad played extremely well, uh, very quick, created a lot of chances and um, you know, didn't come out with the game with the result I'm sure that they wanted and maybe what the first half deserved. So we're very aware of the strengths of their group. You know, they've a group that stayed together. The coach has got them very well organised and playing a very, very good standard of football. And we, we've played against them in pre-season already, so we've had a taste of that. Um, so we, we're ready for what we need to be ready for. But again, the focus is on us. Um, not so much Hyderabad. We'll prepare the players for what we think we're going to get. But the focus is back on what we want to do and how we want to do it. Aswati from Half A Football. Um, hi, Coach. Uh, so, uh, uh, how is the feeling in the camp ahead of the second game after a wonderful win uh, in the first game? Yeah, I think anywhere around the world, I think if uh, your first game of the season, everybody wants to, to play well and uh, ideally play well and, and win. So, the feeling when we got back to the camp um, was, was one of um, happiness and excitement. You know, the hotel, we were greeted by the hotel staff here uh, fantastically well. Um, they've looked after us extremely well since we've been here. And that, that feeling has, has continued, uh, but it's been more about trying to get the players now recovered and fresh because we do have a lot of games coming up in a short space of time. But the, the mood is very good at the moment, but it's important that, again, that mood is one of focus as we get ready for a very good Hyderabad team. Sandeep, uh, you have a question? Yeah. Hi, Coach. Hi. Um, I ask you about Angulo. <clears throat> Having a player like him up front uh, who needs very little touches to convert how much does that uh, help you in terms of planning or uh, is that just part of the team that you're looking at? Yeah, I mean, the, the two goals that he scored, especially the second, was, was a fantastic, um, that's, a, that's a proper finisher. You know, it doesn't take too much for him to get a sight of goal to, to try and find a, a shot or the back of the net. And that's something that, you know, as a coach, you, you look out for those types of players in any team. So to have someone like Igor here and his finishing ability is very good. But... The one thing I, I must stress is the work rate of the team out of possession uh, was, was a real key part. So allowing not just Eagle, but others when we did win the ball to be in good positions to be able to either counter or to get goal scoring moments. And uh, the work rate of every single player um, was fantastic. And again, that's something we're going to have to do again tomorrow night. All the best, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, Sandeep. Harsh, I believe you have a follow-up. Yeah. Uh, so, Coach... Uh... You, uh, the team will play 20 matches in around four months and uh, the number of days between games uh, are not much. Uh, we saw in the first game that your uh, the intensity of your style is quite high. Uh, 
how do you uh, plan on tackle uh, plan to tackle that issue of uh, not having enough days to recover after the game yeah we have to manage manage our squad and try and manage it as best as we can um so that's my job is to to try and do that and then it's the players roles here in the camp to make sure that they can keep themselves fresh and ready to play if they need to and a fantastic example of that the other night was young rakip who was came on for bignesh early in the game and came on and and performed extremely well um so he won't be the only one over the next couple of games that gets those opportunities and it's important that when they do get those opportunities um that we trust them to have them and we certainly trust the players we have in this group and then it's up to the players to go out and show show people what they're capable of doing so it'll be management of the squad and players being ready to to take the opportunity coach we have a question from shivam who couldn't be here uh, in the starting minutes of the match against fc goa mumbai were very high in their own half giving no room to fc goa to get inside and then as goa was shackled mumbai started finding their opportunities and pressing higher and higher was that always the plan we we'll have a plan for every team we we play now uh, we've also got a style of football that we want to implement and when i say style of football it's not just when we have possession of the ball um it's very important again when we haven't got the ball that we have a way of doing things that we want but we also need to be aware that every team we play will have their different threats so how we go about implementing that style out of possession will be different for every team so that was the plan against goa uh, and it worked in in patches there was areas we need to really tidy up in um and it will be important whether it's the hyderabad game or ones after that against atk and so on that we we're, we're prepared um to be able to do either similar things or or work as hard minimally as we need to thank you coach uh guys if there's any further questions otherwise you can call it time just give it a few seconds hush <laughs> always has questions yeah uh, last question from my side uh. so coach uh, angulo and katato both uh, scored amazing goals in the last game uh, is it is it a headache for you to decide uh, which one to start and how to uh, go about with them in the team um no not really uh they you know katatao and casio they were late arriving into the camp just because of uh getting them here and then having to quarantine a little bit longer than than others um because of where they come from so in terms of match fitness and getting them up to speed it's a case of using the trainings that we have uh and the minutes that we can get into them on the field to get them up to speed and then when we have everybody fully available and fit it's a fantastic problem for any coach to 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 have so you know what it does do is it gives us different ways of playing and different options that should we need to we can go to question just to start off how important was that win in the first game and how important will it be to build for the rest of the season uh it was a important win for us uh it was our first game uh we happy that we kept a clean sheet and we got the uh, result that we wanted but now we are more focused on our coming games uh, especially the one we will be playing tomorrow if you have a question from harsh harsh you have a question yeah uh, hi rahul good afternoon hello uh, my question to you is uh, uh, what are your thoughts uh, about uh, des buckingham's style of play it's a new one for you and uh, how different uh, would you say is it from uh, the style of play you used to play in bfc uh, yeah uh, uh, we know that uh, coaches uh, come here with his own experience and plans and we all are working hard uh, to do well uh, and uh, play as per the plan so that's a uh, main motto and team is improving each and every day in the training and surely in our coming games we will get better and do well great uh in the meantime guys if you have any more questions for rahul rahul is a question from somebody who couldn't be here how how much better do you think this team can get from here on out obviously uh, uh the only thing uh, is to get improve uh, we have to improve each and every day uh in each and every training uh that that will be our target and uh, uh it's important uh, as a team uh, we do well and we uh, win the matches uh that's that will be our uh, main focus uh, to achieve our targets of the season arsh i believe you have a follow yeah uh, so uh, rahul you played with motada for in the first match and uh, he is uh, he is one of the best defenders uh, in in the isl uh, so how has your experience been uh, playing with him and uh, how how has it been like uh, it was a good experience uh, in my first game uh, he is always there to help me on and off the pitch so this is my first time i'm playing with him so throughout the pre season uh, three weeks uh, he has helped me uh, as a def- as a defender and he has shared his experience uh, and he is always there to help each and every one 
so he's one of the lead, uh, leader in our team so it was a great experience you have a question from ashwati from hafi football uh, good afternoon rahul good afternoon uh, so you are one of the most senior players uh, like most senior indian player in the squad so how do you motivate and influence the youngsters in the squad uh yeah uh, i have uh, played uh, indian super league for last 7 uh, years and uh, it's important that i share my experience with my teammates uh, especially with the youngsters uh, so that they improve and uh, they do uh, good for the team and help the team um uh, if there's any further questions for rahul otherwise we we'll can move to the head coach we'll give it 10 seconds rohan from the bridge ask a question Afternoon, Rahul. So your next game is against ATK Mohan Bagan. It's a very tough game. Like last year, last year, like you have runner-up and defending champion. So oh, the next game is uh, against Hyderabad. Yeah, Hyderabad. So Hyderabad is a little rising team. They lost to Chennai FC, but like you have you have seen last year, you know they were a tough team. So how do you think that how will you play against Hyderabad FC? uh obviously we know that they are a good team they got good players uh, but uh, it's important uh, that we focus on our way of play uh, we know they are a good team they got good players but uh, it's important that we do well tomorrow uh, we will be doing the same things that we did in our first game and um, it's important that we get the victory tomorrow now there's a question from anand whose mic unfortunately isn't working how upbeat is the camp and how much has i am assuming the last result has helped this has built this team's confidence ahead of the next game uh surely uh, team's uh, morale is high because of the win we got in the first game uh, uh, we got it was our first game we played in in the super league uh, this season and our team is doing good uh, even in the camp here uh, everyone is happy positive and the atmosphere uh, in the team in the dressing room is good so uh, surely we will go with a positive mindset for tomorrow's game and um, looking forward to get a win tomorrow uh the first question is from uh, mr joseph from khel now and mr somyadeep day from sports kida uh, so the question is hyderabad have not won any of their four matches previous matches in the two seasons against mumbai city Although it's too early to say, how crucial do you think this game is, and how is the team preparing for this? Uh, good afternoon. Uh, okay, statistics uh, for matches. Okay, I, I I was only in the two last games and and last season. Uh, we are speaking about the not the former the former champion because it was ISL seven, but is the current champion. Then. they had and they have and they have a very strong team than uh, for matches to me. for me is not uh, a great statistic no? you say okay, maybe is a 10 12 game okay but for matches is more or less is is normal that even for sure that we didn't lose uh, for matches with a, with another with another team for example uh, how crucial is this encounter this encounter uh, for 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 our season is the second game we lost the first game of course that we want to win this game but we know that is a a very a very difficult game that okay how is the team preparing the, the team is preparing uh, like always in isl in uh, unfortunately for covid no you play too much uh, fast uh, very not not too much days to rest not too much days to prepare the the next uh, the next game then we have three training sessions to prepare everything to play against a, a very very good team but i think that we are uh, optimistic Uh, after our first game despite uh, the defeat coach the next question is from mr archan mukherjee from the bridge uh, so you you are playing mumbai city fc in the next game uh, they had a very brilliant start to the season uh, with a 3-1 win over fc goa 
So how do you assess their start and their start to the season? Always is 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 better to to start with a with a win with a victory, no? Like like last season that we won our first game against Odisha. But uh, sometimes football is is like this, no? I think that more, more or less all of us are agree that we didn't uh, we didn't deserve to to lose the first game. But this is football. And we play it now against a, a very strong team because I repeat, they are the, the champions and, and they start the season to win uh, not easily because it easily is very difficult in this championship, but they score uh, the first two goals in, in three, four minutes and, and, and they played a very good game against, against FC Goa. And of course, we know that that uh, will be a a very difficult game. But I told at the end of uh, the of the in, in the game of of Chennai that all twenty games are are very very difficult, and we have chances to win in Mumbai, and we have chances to to lose with with the last team in the in the table. But now it's only one game, even. Even okay, we want to win, of course. But even if we lose the second game, I think that that uh, there will be 18, 18 games. But of course, that we we prepare the game to, and we we want we want to win. The next question is from Mr. Shiva Krishna from Telangana today. Mr. V V Subramaniam from the Hindu and Archan Mukherjee from the Bridge and Mr. Ram from the Hans India. So it's more of a similar question. Uh, like last season, where we talked about making the chances count, the first game get, uh, saw Hyderabad FC create a lot of chances throughout the game, but uh, the team failed to convert it. So how do you tackle such an issue and what are the areas of uh, improvement that you're looking at? I don't think I don't think that we have too much chances. We had, we had more chances than, than Chennai. We, we had more possession of the ball, uh, but I agree with this uh, question. No? Uh, I think that we need to arrive with more players to, to the box and, and, of course, to be more clinical in the, in the action that we have. No? But I think the other day we, we had the, the ball, we had the ball, we combined very good. But I think that we need to arrive with more players to the to the, to the box because sometimes only Bart and and, and, and the wing and one of the other one winger uh, arrive to to the box. Sometimes Edu, but he played a very good game. Uh, but we need we need to arrive with more players. Of course, combination uh, all all these kind of things was uh, very good or were very good, but. Uh, we need to to improve in in this in this area. Uh, the next question is from Mr. Shiva Krishna again from Telangana today, and uh, Mr. V V Subramaniam from uh, the Hindu, and Mr. Joseph from KL now. So, how tough is this to sw swallow such a loss despite the numerous chances that are created in the game? Well, always that you that you lose one game is tough, always. But uh, I repeat. Uh, I remember clear, clear, clear chances. For me, clear chances. The chance that Bart missed in the in the beginning of the second half, or okay, for example, the free kick of Edu uh, is a good save or or Bishal. But yes, uh, of course, we we are right more than Chennai. Uh, we wanted to to play good football, but to play good football is not only to take the ball and pass the ball and and maybe to have a 65% percent percentage with the ball. We, we need to to create more and more spaces. And I think that uh, the injury of Halley was important for, for our team too. Uh, but uh, okay, we have time to 
to improve in this in this kind of, of things because it's, it's more or less it's the same problem that we had in the last games in, in precision where we played very good against Odisha, a uh, correct game against uh, Mumbai, even against Northeast, and, and we only scored one goal in, in every game when we had maybe the same chances or more than than in that than in the game against against Chennai. Coach, uh, just taking on from that uh, point itself, so Sneha Matthew from uh, Zilli Sports and Anson from Half Day Football, uh, it's, they have the next question. So, uh, despite playing really well in the first game with very good combination, your team didn't have the win. So, as a coach, how do you deal with these situations? And what is it that you talk to the players, you know, in terms of the mo morale and attitude that they should have going into the next game? We are in the opposite side of, of Chennai. No, I, I totally agree with uh, Chennai's coach at the end of the game. He said, okay, we didn't play a good game. But when you win, the confidence is every time growing. No, And, and uh, maybe in finally, you can play better than the opponent. I think that we can, that we played better than Chennai in this game. But uh, when you play consecutive games, the confidence uh, is difficult uh, to recover the confidence. But we are only in, I am speaking about uh, maybe four, five, six games, but after only one game, uh, I think that the situation is that we played one game, we lost, and now uh, we have to try to win the game. Coach, uh, the next question is from uh, Satya Palti from IFTWC. So, can we expect more youngsters like Ashish Rai, Akash, Yasir, and Hitesh becoming regulars in the starting lineup? Yes. Easy to answer. Yes, we can expect more young players in the lineup. Okay. Uh, the next question is from Mr. Shiva Krishna from Telangana today. Uh, Mr. Joseph from Kelnao, Anson from Halfway Football, and Archan from the Bridge. Uh, any update that you want to share on uh, Ali's injury? Yes. Uh, I, we don't know exactly how many games he can't play, but uh, he has an injury in the internal part of the the of the knee in the, in the internal ligament of the knee let's see maybe two three games maybe uh, he can't he can play uh, so the next question is from mr shiva kumar from telangana today uh, Ms. neha matthew from Chile sports and sanjay from the andhra jyoti so we all know that Mumbai City FC is a dangerous team. How do you look at this challenge and manage the formation for tomorrow's match? And can we expect some more debuts in the next game? For sure. The Woods for sure, because, well, not the Woods. Uh, not the same lineup I want to tell because Kali is injured. But uh, we know perfectly that we play against a very strong team. Uh, they have a lot of different uh, aspects uh, in the win in the game that they they know how to manage in a lot of situations in in in, in transitions in they are very strong in set pieces they are strong in they play very good with in, in open play we know that uh, we played against a, a very good team, and th there is a there is a thing that now with, with this question I, I take advantage to to tell that I, I like very much the attitude of the coach of the new coach because he's always speaking very very strange in football very strange in football he al he always is speaking about the good work of Sergio Lovera you know that for me Sergio Lovera is a is a very very good coach. But only if you watch the, the you, know, you look if you watch the first game against Goa, you can see uh, a lot of different details uh, in this Mumbai than the Mumbai city of last season. Then uh, I like people with humility, and I think that uh, uh, we played against a. Uh, 
a, a team that is uh, maybe in the future will be a, a, a good work it more more than now good work at team because now the time from uh, the coach arrived is, is not too much coach the next question is from mr ritam basu from sports keda uh, bart ogbeche looked a bit rusty in the first match uh, is he match fit for this game or do you plan to make any changes to the attack good question again uh, i don't know because we have to play i think that all the coaches would have the more or less the same the same doubt no for example mumbai played three four days after they play against atk uh, we play every for four four or five days after uh, our game with mumbai against jamshedpur uh, i don't know is possible that bar plays in the lineup or maybe he enter in the in the second half we are we are uh, you know that i am i am not uh, i don't like to say one thing uh, different things i i know to be clear but uh, we don't know still if if bar uh, will play in the lineup or in the starters or will be in the bench for for the second half Coach, so the next question is from Satya from IFT WC. So, having played one game this season and having seen uh, the first round of fixtures in the league with, with with every team now playing one game, how much of an improvement have you seen in the quality of the league and opponents from last season? Uh, I think that this season, uh, in the beginning. We thought that will be more equal than some games that that I that I watch in 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 the in the first round. No, I think that uh, ATK is a very strong team. Kerala, I, I like Kerala in the first game, uh, but ATK for me that they, they won easily, easily. Is not the correct word, but I think he he won good the game. Bengaluru the same with Northeast, but the other day Odisha won uh, not easily, but Odisha played very good football. The other day they have for me Odisha they have the, the best the best foreigners in the in the championship. Uh, I, I think that maybe the 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 table. Uh, Will be difference between some teams. Even now, if you look now in this moment, the, the, okay, it's only one game, eh? but I think Hyderabad and Goa, we are the two last teams, the only teams without points. And I think that both teams at the end is uh, this won't won't be the the position. Which, uh, the next question is internally. So basically, uh, the, this is this is the first game against Mumbai that will be at a 9:30 p.m. kickoff. And last season we saw a few teams not really happy with the 5:30 p.m. kickoffs in you know under the heat and the humility, uh, humidity. Uh, so how much better will it be for players to play in, in a much cooler environment? And how do you think will that impact the game? For me, is this is a, a I'm not nobody to. To tell advice to to the league, but for me, between five thirty, seven thirty, and seven thirty, nine thirty, there is one that is better. It's six thirty and eight thirty, because the second half last season, when the games were uh, were at five thirty, second half, the weather was was good, then was better. Six thirty and and eight thirty, nine thirty for me. Okay, if you are close to Fatorda. In our case, is is okay, uh, uh, okay. But when we play 9:30 against Goa, that is in more than one hour, maybe uh, it's too much late, no. But of course, of course, I prefer to play 9:30 than 5:30 because 5:30 was very very hot last last season. It will affect or not the game for sure. That will be more rhythm. The pitch will be in a very good conditions uh, with water in the pitch. I am speaking if it, uh, if don't rain. Uh, I think that the pitch will be in very good conditions. 
Coach, uh, Mumbai City has a similar uh, style of playing to Hyderabad uh, in terms of keeping the ball and attacking, playing an attacking brand of football. So, how does it impact your side's approach to that particular game? Yes, I think that uh, the the style I like, I like the style of this kind of team. No, uh, Mumbai, I like, uh, I prefer to play with the ball. I respect all the the styles but it's true they want to to keep the ball Hyderabad want to keep the ball when they have the ball we we have to to know that we have to be very compact and in good positioning and I think the same one even in the in the friendly game that we played was was like this and uh, when they have the ball they had the ball a lot of order and, and the same for Mumbai when we have uh, the ball they they do a very good or they make a very good high press uh, and we have to try to avoid this press and and try to combine because if we play with long balls for us it's impossible for the style of our players so the next question is, uh, last season's Golden Boot winner Ivar Angulo has joined Mumbai City from FC Goa and in the first game, like you said, he bagged a brace in, in that very short period of time in the first half. So how do you plan to tackle him on Saturday? It's very difficult. It's very difficult because maybe 20, 30 years ago or 40 years ago when the when football was different and there is marks man-to-man and one sweeper or free man uh, behind the the, the mark, the, the player who mark uh, the center forward, maybe would be more difficult. But for uh, clever players like Igor Angulo, uh, the modern football with the players in uh, in zone uh, is easier for for them. And you have to add that Igor Angulo is a player who has a Fantastic quality. That's in the box. He's he he is not nervous, and he's very calm in the in the box. Then uh, this is the reason that he scored in all the teams. Even he was top scorer in Poland. Uh, he will be. He was top uh, scorer in in Mumbai. Let's see this season, and when. When he uh, in the future with uh, 73 years old, he will continue scoring scoring goals for sure. Coach, uh, uh, this question, last question is from uh, Mr. Sanjay from Andhra Jyoti. So you had some very good support from the fans and and for the team despite the loss. So uh, any word for the fans and what they expect from Hyderabad FC tomorrow? No, I am very happy always. Uh, one one game. Uh, that you lose, uh, nothing changes in my opinion about the fans of of Hyderabad. The thing is when you have a, <laughs> a four or five consecutive defeats, all these good words maybe change for for bad words, no? But I'm, I'm totally sure that uh, this uh, won't won't happen, no? and of course that. Uh, they can expect that again the, the, the team will try to play uh, good football, but uh, I repeat, no, we have to try to be more dangerous in, in the in the last part of the of the pitch because okay, you can play very good, very nice, but finally there is a space where you have to score the goals. And, and we have to arrive to, to these situations. Uh, okay, and that's all. And thank you for, for, for all the, the support and, and we will continue uh, fighting for, for them.